welcome back guys. You guys are back for another one. Today it's gonna be kind of jumping all around. We got brakes to work on, we got wiring to hook up, we got the bottom of the cab to get undercoated, we gotta get it mounted down. So it's gonna kind of be a bunch of jumping around a bunch of different things, but I tell you what, it's getting closer, so let's jump into it. All right guys, I found some stuff to do with this truck. Started messing with the wiring. I had to go down and get some more loom to finish that up down to the starter. But I started getting it formed into place. Got it ran around there by the valve cover and zip tied in. Same thing with the other side, started getting it ran. So piddle with that a little bit, started piddling with the brakes. I got some brake fluid put in it, started running it down. All my bleeders broke free except for this side over here. I'm gonna try to weld a nut on it. I've had vice grips and everything on it and I cannot get that bleeder to break loose. So worse comes to worse, if I can't get it, I have to buy new calipers for the front, but at least that'll match the new wheel cylinders I put in the back. But what I think I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hop on back here. Had a couple places back here on the cab. I didn't undercoat where them blocks were sitting at. I'm gonna jack it up, get them painted in or undercoated. That way I can get this cab set down and get it bolted up finally and just keep moving right on along. So here we go. All right, guys, got the back of this cab all touched up there. Everything's looking good now. Gotta let that dry so I can get this cab lowered back down, put back on the frame. I was looking up here, I thought about welding a square on the nuts like they come from factory for the body mounts there. But I think I'm just gonna use a regular nut and put a cap over that under the carpet. You'll never see it. And if you ever gotta pull this cab, I think that's gonna make it a lot easier. So I kept moving right on along. Got my wiring here and a nice loom. Down, I went right underneath the header, zip tied it to the motor mount. I think that's going to be plenty clearance. I don't think I'll ever have any problems with it. Went ahead and got my fuel lines done too. So the fuel system is 100% complete now. It's ready to roll. Went ahead and took care of my brake booster line. Put a hard line right in the back of the carburetor and came up straight into the rubber hose. It did have an inline filter here that went in it. It was plugged full of dirt, looked like dirt daubers. I don't know what all it was, but decided to take it out. I'm not really gonna be driving this thing in dusty condition, so I don't think I'll ever have to worry about having a filter on it. 
but all in all everything's coming together pretty good so i'm gonna hop off here and see if i can't find something else to do Stubborn little thing, but finally went our way. Went through four nuts, welded them on, kept twisting the top of that bleeder off, and finally welded a bolt where I could get a good weld all the way around it, and finally came out. So that's a good deal, maybe save these calipers. I bled them the other night a little bit and pumped up pressure, and it's not sticking. So that's a good sign for this side. Got fluid down to it, it's got a pedal, and it's not sticking. So I'll get another bleeder and put in this one and see what we can do there. All right, guys, I'm really fighting the urge to hook some jumper wires up and try to crank this thing over and start it up. I'm getting so close, but still so far away. Trying to do everything right. Got the brake system. It's 100% done. Got my new bleeder in there. Got the brakes bled. Everything's good with them. Fuel system, 100% done. The electrical is, I'm going to say, 90% done with it. So getting really, really close. Got my core support. I got a new radiator I got to put in it. I'm going to strip it down, get it painted up. There's the transmission cooler lines, dipstick, and the inner fenders. I'm going to go ahead and get the battery tray built and everything. That way I can set the battery in and I can see what length of cables I need to go to the starter and up there to the alternator bracket where the negative ground's at. And just keep picking this thing apart one thing at a time. And I might get antsy and fired up. I don't know, but I sure am ready to hear it. So. Well guys, another one's came to an end. Appreciate you guys for watching, and as you can see, got some big things planned in the future for this truck, so keep chipping away, and one day we're gonna be cruising that thing right down the road, so see you next time.